Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to go over a video on five traffic laws that we break every day. And right now I am technically breaking one because speeding is number one. It is almost impossible always drive the speed limit because you will get a lot of angry drivers, me included, that will uh, be flying around you and you'll be impeding and holding up traffic if you actually go the speed limit. So the majority of people in my experience usually go about 10 over the speed limit, like five to 10 over the speed limit. And then if you're on Vegas highways, maybe about 20 over the speed limit. That's a little bit exaggerated, but people drive fast on Vegas highways when there's no traffic. Speeding, that's number one. So right now on this road, the speed limit is 45. So if I go 46, see there, 47, I'm technically breaking the law right now. So that's one I'm pretty sure we can all agree with. We break the speed limit every day, pretty much. Number two, and some of these I'm gonna try to demonstrate. And by the way, this is uh, on a closed course for instructional purposes only. But some of these uh, traffic laws that we break every day, I wanna demonstrate just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Another one is turn signals. So I'm usually pretty good with my turn signals. I use my turn signals for pretty much everything. It's like getting over here. I always use my turn signal, but a lot of people don't use their signal. So they'll just kind of get over. Technically, you're supposed to use your turn signals all the time, even if you're like parallel parked and you're getting ready to turn back out onto the street. Um, you're supposed to use your signal to let people know that you're getting back onto the street. And then vice versa, if you're going into a parallel parking spot, don't just stop in the middle of the street and then start backing up to the spot. Turn on your signals so that people know that you're getting ready to back into that spot that makes sense so that's another one signals like right here in this traffic line technically all these people right here are supposed to have their left turn signal on but you can see that car in front of us doesn't um, that Hyundai does but that's another law that we break pretty much every day um, I usually don't break that one because I always use my signal for the most part but I can see how people like either out of laziness or bad habits um, they don't use their signal and number three is stop signs or California stops. And then another thing that people uh, fail to realize is um, wherever the stop sign is, that's where you're supposed to stop, come to a complete stop, wait a second, and then proceed forward to the street. So I'll give you guys an example of that too, because so many people mess that up, and I mess that up too, because a lot of these laws are um, technicalities, but it's so much more convenient, and sometimes it's safer to break the law. All right guys, got to my little spot here. Thought I'd give you guys a little walk around. If anyone's new to the channel, I do car reviews and videos on my 2020 Mustang GT. So if you guys are interested in that, please do subscribe. But uh, let's get to showing you guys some of these examples. All right guys, so you can see here we have a stop sign coming up. I'm gonna show you guys what we normally do that's incorrect and then what you're supposed to do. So here's the stop sign, right? So we're supposed to stop at the stop sign, but instead we go way past it like this, go way down to the street, check, and then we're good to go, right? So that's how you're not supposed to do it. So now I wanna show you guys how you're supposed to do it. So let's do a three point turn real quick. Baby screen, which I will be upgrading eventually. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, so this is what you're supposed to do. So we have the stop sign here. You're supposed to come to a stop at the stop sign like this. Come to a complete stop, wait a second, then roll forward like this. Then check, see we have a car. And by the way, you do check crosswalks and then uh, get going obviously. So for this next one, I wanna show you guys a common like turning mistake that a lot of people make. So here's another stop sign. So we'll turn on our signal like we're supposed to. We'll do everything right. We'll come to a stop at the line. Come to a complete stop. Boom, wait a second, then roll forward. See, we have a car coming. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Look. See how I went way over into this lane instead of the closest lane, which is over there? So when you turn from like a stop like that, you're supposed to go to the closest lane to you. You're not supposed to like skip over into like the other lane, if that makes sense. Let's see if we can get a little bit of slide action on this U-turn. We don't have any stuff turned off, but we'll just see what happens. 
not anything crazy. We're not trying to crash into nothing. Let's see here. Oh wow, it didn't even slide at all. <laughs> I didn't push it hard enough, but I'm cool with that. Notice how I just made a mistake right there. I'm telling you, we do this stuff every day, or I think a lot of us do, at least. Not supposed to really do stuff like that either, but I'm just making a video for you guys. Number four is using your phone while driving. And we all kind of know that we're not supposed to, but you know, we have to change our track, right? We have to change our music. So if you reach over to check your messages or change your track or anything like that, you are using your phone or like texting while driving, which obviously we know is not legal. But I'm sure we all are guilty of doing that every day. Here's a stop sign. We'll do a California stop. Look, roll and then just kind of go because no one's coming. So that's another mistake. That's a California stop. There we go. I did the lane thing. For number five, I want to talk about running a orange light and you're probably like what do you mean orange light i thought there's red yellow and green you are correct but if you run a yellow light and it turns red right before you get there and you go flying past it you're running a red light but i call it orange because you're trying to like go through it but you didn't go through it in time i think red and yellow makes orange so i'm sure we kind of are guilty of doing that too where we see a light turning yellow and we're not about to wait right so we just floor it and go flying through the light that's dangerous. Traffic lights give a little bit of time before they let the other crowd go and they still have to take off. But that's still dangerous and you still are technically running a red light. We stopped a little bit past the stop sign on that one. But let me show you guys what you're supposed to do when you go past lanes of traffic. You're supposed to turn left like this and then go to the closest lane, which is right here. Not sliding over into that lane like I just did earlier. For the last part of this video, I kind of want to do some bonuses, some stuff that we do wrong, but we kind of, um, but it's kind of convenient to do it wrong, if that makes sense. So one would be illegal U-turns. So we know illegal U-turn is illegal, right? But if it's in a situation where like no one's coming or something, we'll do a legal U-turn. I mean, you got to admit, we find ourselves in situations where we kind of take what's convenient. I'm going to show you guys an example of what pulling a BMW is like. No one over there? It's kind of get over right no signal that's called pulling a bmw i know it's kind of a cheesy joke but they say bmw drivers don't use their turn signal which is true to an extent but um in the modern bmws they'll correct your lane change if you try to do that so you will be punished if you don't turn that system off but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this quick little video going over the things look let's see if this guy does it i don't know he went to the right lane so i hope you guys enjoy this video going over the five driving mistakes that we make pretty much every day let me know what you guys think in the comments do you guys make these mistakes every day if you enjoyed the video please like it subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one